After running Workbench in left-hand side, you can see different analysis systems in Ansys. Fluid Flow, Fluent, is selected and you should drag and drop it into green box shown in Project Schematic. Each model in Ansys Fluent consists of five sections. Geometry, Mesh, Setup, Solution and Results. There are several similar software, each of them works very powerfully in one of these sections and can be used in relevant projects to perform more specialized projects. Now you see a picture of a summary of what was mentioned. In this introductory section, I will use two-dimensional modeling for simplicity. To do this, right-click on Geometry and select Properties. Under the Advanced Geometry options and in front of the Analysis type, select the 2D modeling option instead of the 3D model. There are two options for starting modeling in ANSYS Fluid. The space claim will be selected by clicking on the geometry and will be opened. To select the Design Modeler by right-clicking, it must be selected from the options. Each of these two has advantages and disadvantages and works better for a specific category of modeling. For example, to create multiple connections between surfaces, the design modeler works better. Space claim only allows you to move slash rotate about one axis at a time, whereas design modeler lets you set up axis for each object, and then match those axis together in a single move operation. In this tutorial we will use design modeler. In tree outline part, you will see three different planes to start modeling. In addition to the possibility of using them, through the coordinate axis in the lower right corner, you can rotate the desired plane and see that from different angles. After selecting on desired plane from tree outline by clicking on new sketch, as you can see it, a new option is activated below that plane to sketch. To look normal to the selected plane, click look at face, plane or sketch. You can use the sketching tab to draw two-dimensional sketches, make the necessary changes, define its dimensions, and so on. The sketching toolboxes consists of five toolboxes, Draw, Modify, Dimensions, Constraints, and Settings. There are several suggested shapes in the draw that you can use one of them, or merge more than one to achieve to the special shape that you want. Here I chose one of the simplest, a rectangle. First I changed the units from the drop-down units option in the main toolbar to millimeters. As you can see, there are many useful options in constraints such as symmetry, the application of which will be discussed in detail later. Under dimensions, general, vertical and horizontal are applicable for rectangle. I use general one. H1 and V1 appear, which can be defined on the details view. After create a sketch to the correct dimensions, in order to turn it into a surface. From concept select surface from sketches, to apply changes to the surface we modeled. We open a new sketch from the desired plane by going to the sketching section and selecting a circle shape from draw. Note that when your cursor is exactly on an axis, the letter C is displayed. Here, according to this point, you can draw the center of the circle exactly on the axis that passes through the middle of the rectangle. Then select the radius from the dimension section and define its value. Then press generate. From the dimension section, by selecting the distance option, the distance of the center of the circle from one of the sides of the rectangle is defined, and in this way, the exact location of the second sketch relative to the first can be defined. After all of them, we return to modeling. And again, we select the surface from sketch. In this case, in the Operation section, we choose Add Frozen Form 2 Surfaces. The difference between Add Material and Add Frozen will discussed at the end of this video.
In order to separate these two surfaces, we select from the Create, Boolean section. This option has different uses. Here we want to use Subtract. By selecting the appropriate target and tool body, if the preserved tool body is set to No, the selected surface's tool body will be removed from the target body. In this section, we will discuss about Add Material and Add Frozen. There are only two options for you when you are modeling the first 2D or 3D geometry. The geometry that is created with Add Material is called the Active Body which can be applied to other commands in later sections, such as imprint faces or cut material. In order to model other parts of your geometry add material unites the new feature onto an existing base solid. Whereas add frozen creates a new solid. Which means that it's a new body which is separated from the other body which you have made before. If your part has more than one body with different materials or same material but different bodies are assembled with each other then you should apply add frozen to each body. Thank you for watching. Subscribe us to watch the step-by-step -step tutorial videos of ANSYS Flu and in next videos. And if the content was useful, please like it.